Hey guys, this is Franklin. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a door and window openings in the easiest and more time saving method in Rhino. Let's get started. Go to the top view. First, we need to import the floor plan drawing to create a 3D model. I'm gonna drag this CAD file into Rhino. Just import file and click OK. This is our drawing file. Uh, let's hide these layers for now. Except wall. Just remember this, always work on layers. That's gonna help in so many ways to work effectively. Okay, let's check if there is any drawing errors in the file. If there is any drafting errors, we have to fix it right now. I missed out something. Now I'm gonna close this using fillet command. The radius should be zero. And here also and let's check anything else okay now our drawing is perfect to create 3d model I'm gonna show you two methods to do this let's see the first method first we need to hide all other layers except wall, window and doors because we are going to create a window and door openings in the wall. Now we need to draw door profiles over the door. Now I am gonna create a new layer called door profile. Guys I am gonna tell you again always work on layers that will save a lot of time. Let's double click on this layer and I'm gonna change the color. Now I'm gonna use rectangle to draw it. Just draw the rectangles over every dose. Now I'm gonna hide this door profile and door for now. I'm gonna create a wall in 3D. Uh, go to the perspective view and go to the layer, select the wall layer and select objects. This will select the objects in this layer. Now I'm gonna use planar surface to create a surface. Planar surface and click yes. This will create a surface and go to the select, select last created objects. This will select the objects which you created last and I'm gonna create a new layer called 3D wall and I'm gonna change this object into, into this layer. Right click on the layer and change object layer. Now you see we have some kind of errors here. I'm gonna correct this. We can eliminate the surfaces using split command. Just select the surfaces. And, and type split. Select the cutting objects. Cutting objects will be the curves. Select the curves for the cutting objects and press enter. This will split the surface. Delete the surface instead of that because we don't need that. Now we have the walls in a 2D. Now I'm gonna create uh, give some height for that. Go to the perspective view. Select the 3D wall layer and select objects. And give I'm gonna give some height. I'm gonna give 3 meter. You can see this gumball. If you don't find this, you can turn on from here. Click the ball in the blue arrow to extrude. And give some height. I'm gonna give 3 meters. This will create the wall. Now we have the wall. Okay, now we have to create a door opening. Go to the door profile and turn on this. 
and right click on this select objects create a surface using planar surface you can see it in the shaded view and go to the select and select the last created objects and i'm gonna I'll create a new layer called door 3d 3d door now i'm gonna change the object layer into this layer okay now i'm gonna uh, give a color to this right click on 3d door select objects and we need to give some height i'm gonna give 0.9 because we have total 3 meter of wall height and the door height is 2.1 meters so we have only 0.9 meters of wall above the lintel level and again go to the select and select the last created objects and make it a group now use the arrow key to move i'm gonna move this to 2.1 meters now you can see we have created door openings we are going to do the same for window openings let's hide the 3d door and 3d wall and also the door profile i'm gonna unhide the windows now we are going to create a window profile yeah you can use the rectangles to create a window profile as i did before for the door but this time i'm gonna show you a easiest way to do this first i'm gonna draw a rectangle around the plan then select everything in the curve tools we have curve boolean select that and click inside the rectangle and press enter and you we can delete this now you can see we have created rectangles if you hide the windows layer you can see it okay now i'm gonna change these rectangles into a new layer called 3d window guys just remember always work on layers okay select everything and right click on the 3d window and change object layer now i'm gonna change the color then select everything go to the perspective view we have to create a surface using planar surface we have created surface go to the select and select last created objects and change to the 3d window right click on the 3d window select objects now i'm gonna give some height i'm gonna give 0.9 the 0.9 is for the sill level now i'm gonna unhide the 3d wall now we have created the sill and also we have to create the wall above the lintel level so i'm gonna go to the 3d window layer and right click select objects copy this to the top now we have created the window openings let's unhide the 3d door that's it this is the first step to create the easiest way of door and window openings okay now i'm gonna show you the second method first delete everything and go to the top view and i'm gonna unhide every layers this method is especially for those who don't work on layers this is the plan that we have to create a door and window openings in the model in this method you have to do three things first we need to create a door profile window profile and overall wall profile first we have to create a wall profile for that you can use polyline I already did it in the AutoCAD itself. Let's, I'm gonna hide everything apart from the wall profile. This is the wall profile which I meant. 
and we have to create a door and window profile also i also have the door and window profile you can see if i change the color okay i missed the window profile so i'm gonna do it again let's hide this and hide the windows and hide the windows i'm gonna create a new layer called window profile draw a rectangle over the plan and select everything go to the curves tools and click curve boolean and click inside the rectangle now i have the window profile and the door profile and also the wall profile let's create a 3d model go to the perspective view first i'm gonna select the wall profile select objects and create a planar surface and go to the select and select last created objects change the objects into the 3d wall now i'm gonna select the 3d wall layer select objects and i'm gonna extrude it to 3 meters now we have a wall without any door and window openings and go to the window profile select objects and create a surface using planar surface yeah you can see if i hide this 3d wall and go to the select select last created objects change the objects into 3d window and extrude it to 1.2 meters my windows height is 1.2 meters again go to the select and select last created objects and make it a group and move it to 0 by 9 meters now do the same for the 3d doors go to the door profile select select objects and create a planar surface last created objects and change the objects into 3d door and extrude it to 2.1 meters my door height is 2.1 meters so we have the door and windows let's unhide the 3d wall now select the 3d door select objects and make a group okay now go to the solid tools and we have something called boolean difference let's click on that first we need to click the wall and press enter and go to the 3d door and select objects and the 3d window also select objects and press enter that's it now we have created the door and window openings thanks for watching guys by the way this is my personal workflow which helps me to save time if you guys want more videos like this please let me know in the comments thank you